Tonight, Simona, Eric, and Caden enter the trivia arena looking to win thousands of fake dollars by working as a team. The only thing standing in their way? The Chasers. The chase is on. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Hometowns The Chase, the trivia game show where three of my very best friends in the whole wide world try and take on one of our esteemed trivia minds, a.k.a. our chasers. I'm Josh here with you always uh, to play some trivia tonight. I'm excited about the team tonight and the chaser tonight, so it should be a good game all around. No need to, uh, to blabber on anymore. Let's meet our team tonight. Starting us off is your friend and mine. You may have once upon a time, time seen her on an episode of Subversion Live. It is Simona. <laughs> I think I got a good three episodes, okay? Like... <laughs> but And by the time that like this episode of The Chase airs, if you haven't watched it at this point and we just spoiled it for you, sorry. That's on you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's very much on you at that point. Uh, next up, in the order that they will appear in this game, it is Eric. Hi, everyone. Excited to be here. Excited to play. And finally, it's Caden. Caden, how's it going? Good. How are you? Hey, everyone. Excited to be here as well. All right. Uh, let's get into it uh, with our first player tonight, which will be Simona. All right. This is our cash biller. Simona will have one minute to answer as many questions as she can. Correct for every question she gets right. She'll earn a thousand fake dollars to the fake pot to take on against the chaser to hopefully win at the end of the episode. Simona, are you ready? Yes. Your time begins now. What was the name of Beyonce's debut solo album? Oh my god. Oh, that's so bad that I don't know that. Pass. Uh, Dangerously in Love. What type of pastry is used to make a croissant? Puff pastry? Correct. Who directed the movie Inception? Oh, pass. Christopher Nolan, what famous artist is known for cutting off his own ear? Oh, uh, Van Gogh. Correct. Spell communicate. C-O-M-M-U-N-I-C-A-T-E. Correct. In what Olympic sport would you find the term slalom? Um, fast. Skiing. What is the largest com- country in Africa by land area? Fast. Algeria. What is the state capital of North Carolina? Pass. Raleigh, running? what is 63 <laughs> plus 39? Um, 63 plus 39. And you're out of time. 102? Fuck. It would have it? been, in fact, 102. Uh, Damn it. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. Just the warm up. Uh, the cash builder means very little in the grand scheme of this game. Uh, but it's now time to find out what chaser we will be facing tonight. Will it be Lizzie? If she had become a chaser in 2024, I think we would have called her Rizzy instead of socialite, because, you know, like, Riz, that's like a thing. Anyway. Will it be Jeff the textbook Ellis? History is being written every day, and it always goes straight into his textbook. Will it be Amanda the mad scientist lingering? Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Will it be Max the Atlas Teddy? Unlike the maps in his pocket, Max never folds under pressure. Will it be Andy, rising through the ranks as one of our most feared chasers? Can Andy keep his hot streak alive tonight? Will it be Sam, the killer lulls you to sleep with her charm, and just when you least expect it, it's game over? Or will it be Eric? Eric is currently reading a book on anti-gravity. He says it's impossible to put down. Tonight's chaser is seeking his fourth career victory in his downtime, aka his work. You may see him designing the roads of America. But today there's only one path to victory, and that is by defeating Max, the Atlas Teddy. What's up? Max, how are you tonight? I'm so good. I'm ready to be back in the chaser chair. It's been a while, so it feels feels great. Yeah, we are here. This is Max's first appearance of the season, so excited to see 
uh, how he shakes the rust off because it's been a minute. Oh, all right. Simona can take the $3,000 that she earned and be five steps away from home, requiring five correct answers to make it to the final chase. She can make her job a little bit easier, go for the low offer of 700, only need four correct answers to make it home to the final chase. Or she can go high, brave and bold, a step closer to the chaser, needing six correct answers to make it home. Um, but of course, it's a little hot, harder. And of course, since we're not playing for real money, we are playing for the advantage in the final chase. So if she takes what she earned in the 3,000 and she makes it home, that'll be a one-step advantage in the final chase. If she goes low, makes it a little easier to get home, but it will cost her a step in the final chase, cost the team a step in the final chase. But if she goes high and makes it home, that's a plus two head start in the final chase. An important decision here to make. We'll bring everyone back in to discuss what you might do. I think stay for I'd stay at the I, 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 I would say the same thing, yeah. Take this bet. You got this. We believe in you. Do a little better, Simone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For the 3,000 that you earn and the plus one head start in the final chase, the chase is on. Simona and Max will lock in their answers to the same multiple choice question. Every time Simona gets one right, she will move on down the board. Every time Max gets one right, he'll move on down the board in chase. If Max ever catches Simona, sorry for her, but she will be out of the chase and not to see the final chase. What artist performed the halftime show at the Super Bowl in the year 2020? Was it A, Beyonce, B, Jennifer Lopez, or C, Shakira? All right. Simona has gone with Shakira. Uh, Max has gone with Jennifer Lopez. The correct answer is Jennifer Lopez, and Max moves down the board. They weren't together in the Super Bowl, were they? I thought they were. I thought they, like, the whole controversy was that they both got a performance oh. and, like, they both deserved their own, and people were upset about that. Let me, let me, let me do a quick check. Huh. You know what? Yeah. I was like, You're I both, thought it was both. You know, this is a, a rare instance where <laughs> two of the three answers are correct. And we're just going <laughs> to count it. Um, Shakira was, in fact, also there moving Simona down the board as well. <laughs> nice. Oh, my God. There's a first for everything. And um, yeah. you know what? Oh it's not worth trying to reset the whole board. And I'll just give it to you because it is right. Question number two. <clears throat> in which of Disney World's parks is the attraction Rock and Roller Coaster? Oh. A, Magic Kingdom, B, Hollywood Studios, or C, Epcot? That's so funny. Our, like, fourth friend who we were, like, maybe going to pull into this worked at Disneyland for, like, a year. So. Well. <laughs> or Disney World. Well, yeah. that friend um, uh, gave you the right answer of Hollywood Studios, and you were both correct in moving on down the board. Yeah. No phone offense here, but. Didn't need it. Didn't need it. The real life German general Eric Ludendorff is a villain in which 2017 film? A. The Mummy. B. Kong Skull Island. Or C. Wonder Woman. Context clues. Context clues. <laughs> All right, we have two different answers locked in here. Max has gone with Kong, Skull Island. Simona has gone with Wonder Woman. And the correct answer is Wonder Woman. And Simona moves on down the board. Yes! I watched that one. They're like fighting the Nazis, I think. Like Germans, or I don't know. Uh, what year does the name of the San Francisco 49ers refer to? A, uh, A 1649, B, 1749, or C, 1849? should be easy money oh my god all right simona has gone with 1649 max has gone with 1849 and it refers to the year 1849 max is correct and moves on down the board <laughs> goodbye gray sky hello blue is a line from the theme song to what tv series a the wonder years b happy days or c cheers I wasn't alive then. <laughs> All right. 
I... Simona has gone with cheers. Max has gone with happy days. The correct answer is happy days. And Max is Ooh. correct. Moving on down the board again. That's my good. According to their sign, over how many burgers has McDonald's sold? A, 9 billion. B, 99 billion. Or C, 999 billion. Dear God. <laughs> I don't eat fast food, guys. You both lock in with 99 billion, and that is correct. Nice. All right, this could send you to the final chase. Who is the founder of Walmart? A, Sam Walton, B, Sam Walden, or C, Sam Wallman? I have a word <laughs> It's been a long time since I've All right. Max has gone with Sam Walton. Um, Simona has gone with Sam Walden. And it is Sam Walton. Max is correct. And it is a one-question shootout for the final chase on the line. Here's the question. Which character is known for saying, I am the one who knocks in the TV series Breaking Bad? A, Walter White, B, Jesse Pinkman, or C, Saul Goodman? Can I call Quinn? He <laughs> this show. Right, my roommate is a big fan. <sighs> Never seen an episode in my life. Here we go. All right. We have two different answers, and one of them is correct. Uh, uh, Max has gone with Saul Goodman. Simona has gone with Walter White. And the correct answer is Walter White and Simona, you escaped by the skin of your teeth to the final chase. Good job. Nice. <laughs> Oh my god. Thank you, Eli. <laughs> I know you're out there. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> we'll see Simona in a moment. Max, one up, one not so down, but you you played well there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. What what else are you gonna do? Watch watch Breaking Bad, I guess. Yeah, truly. <laughs> and even then she still got it right. So Yeah. All right, let's bring in Eric, who is next. All right, hey. Eric, after watching Simona go through it there, how are we feeling? I'm just glad she got it through. I was really nervous for her. <laughs> but I'm glad she got it through. I'm hoping I can too. All right, one minute on the clock. Are you ready? I'm ready. Your time begins now. What year will be the next leap year? 2024 or 2028. I got to take your first answer. Oh, what yeah. sport okay. does Alec Burks play? Uh, uh, basketball. Correct. What Shakespeare play features the character Tybalt? Uh, Hamlet. Romeo and Juliet. What superhero's alter ego is Diana Prince? Or Diana Prince. Uh, Wonder Woman. Correct. Uh, what two colors are in the Discord logo? Uh, purple, white. Correct. What ocean is to the east of Australia? Uh, Pacific. Correct. Name a current judge on American Idol. Uh, Katy Perry. Correct. Where in your body is your superior node? Uh, nose. Your heart. What is 102 minus 63? 59. 39. Who was the vice president under Barack Obama? Uh, Joe Biden. Correct. Hummus is made primarily of what? Chickpeas. Correct. Spell nucleus. N-U-C-L-E-U-S. Correct. How many people were the focal point of the show? Nope. Four. Can't get it in in time. That's okay. Eight correct answers. Very well done. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with yeah, that. Yeah, that's great. Once again, you can take the 8000 that you earned, five away from home, and the plus one head start in the final chase. You can go low, which would break even at the moment because Simona earned, earned you one and the 2000 Or you can go high, try and get you to a plus three to start us off um, at the 45000 fake dollars. Let's bring everyone back in and discuss the options. For the record, hey okay, I knew <laughs> Yeah, your, your questions were way harder. <laughs> Eric, you did great. I'm proud. I, I think I should just, I just want to stay with me. I, I think, I think you can stay. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I, I think you could do it if you want to, but that's a risk. I don't want to risk. Those, I want to make those, it. Those questions last round were really hard. I, don't I know. Like, no, I just we, we need you to, we need you to make it. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, with eight. I'm, I'm worried for myself here. <laughs> no, you yeah. can't. It can't be me at the end. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then for the 8,000 that you earned and the plus one head start, bring in your team to a total of two. The chase is on.
the fush the i gotta say this correctly the fushimi inari shrine in kyoto japan is famous for having how many tori gates leading up to the shrine what a mouthful of a question a one thousand. <laughs> you don't even made, made a, don't even know what this question means, let alone how to answer it. A one thousand, B two thousand, or th- or C three thousand. I'm going to read it again. Not that that'll help. The Fushimi Inari Shrine in Kyoto, Japan, is famous for having how many Tori gates leading up to the shrine? A thousand, B two thousand, or C three thousand. I need him again because he literally lived in Japan for. Well, let's a just semester. let's just change the chaser to Quinn at this point, then. Yeah, and Quinn be the chaser. <laughs> I have no clue. I don't even know. Yeah, the question. I don't even know what it means. <laughs> like I can visualize kind of what it's saying, but like I didn't. So a, a Tori gate. I'm looking this up. Is a traditional Japanese gate most commonly found at the entrance or within a Shinto shrine. So. Um, anyway, uh, I have your answers. One of them is correct. Max went with a thousand. Um, Eric went with two thousand, and the correct answer is a thousand. Max is on the board. Ugh, tough. That's yeah. okay. You know, yeah. It's, how do you how do you even guess? Which of these NFL teams is not in the same division as the other two? Oh a the Steelers, B the Ravens, C the Colts. Both walk in with Colts, and that is correct. Yay! Sports ball. Right, I love football. <laughs> I, that sounded sarcastic. Max actually actually does like. Oh, I do. I, that was a to- total guess. I did not know that. <laughs> yes. The new live action Avatar: The Last Airbender series is streaming on what platform? A Hulu, B Netflix, C Paramount Plus. And you were both correct with Netflix. Historically, what sport has what sport had as many as a thousand players on each side, goals miles apart, and lasted up to three days? A rugby, B lacrosse, or C handball. Historically, what sport had as many as a thousand players on each side, goals miles apart, and lasted up to three days? A rugby. B lacrosse or C handball. These questions are killing me. I <laughs> same. Uh, Max goes with lacrosse. Eric goes with rugby. The correct answer is lacrosse. Oh, no God. <laughs> All right, away from sports for a second, God. or maybe for a while. This is bad. All right, here's something that uh, hopefully you both have done in your life, and that is eat. Which of the following? <laughs> Which of the following McDonald's sandwiches? A lot of McDonald's questions tonight. <laughs> Which of the following McDonald's sandwiches debuted first? A Big Mac, B Quarter Pounder, C Filet of Fish. This one's also hard. I gotta say, <laughs> all of these have been guesses so far. All right, we have two different answers. One of them oh is the correct God. answer. God. Eric has gone with Filet of Fish. Max has gone with the Big Mac. And the correct answer is the filet of fish. Oh, thank God. No way. <laughs> thank you, God. <laughs> we spread oh the God. game. <gasps> How many Fast and Furious movies have been released? A10, B11, C12. Before you read the answers, I was going to say like seven. <laughs> 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 All right, we have two different answers once again. Eric has gone with 10. Max has gone with 11. Eric, you answered pretty quick. Did you feel confident on Yeah, I do. I actually feel confident with it. And you are correct. Yes. It is 10. Thank God. All right, we uh, have some room now here. Here is your next question. A lifelong bachelor, what innovator once fell for a pigeon, admitting, I love that pigeon as a man loves a woman? A, Alexander Graham Bell. <laughs> what a question. B, Nikola Tesla. Or C, Orville Wright. Oof. The answer I had in my head, I was like, I'm pretty sure it's him. You did not say. So, good thing you did not say him. <laughs> I'm so All, yeah, you are. We are. We're learning to. This is an educational show. 
Um, as Max goes with Alexander Graham Bell, Eric goes with Nikola Tesla, and it's Nikola Tesla. Hey, Eric, you were oh headed God. to the final chase somehow, oh and you God. survived that. <laughs> that was brutal. That was genuinely brutal. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, it was tough. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel now? <laughs> oh, horrible. I'm going to go into it feeling good, though. We're going to do this. All right. We'll warm you up with the cash builder, see what you can do there. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Uh, yep. Your time begins now. What letters directly right of H on a standard QWERTY keyboard? Ooh. J. Correct. What is Tuesday in Spanish? Uh, Martes. Correct. What is 47 plus 56? 103. Correct. Who is the Greek god of wealth? Uh... Aries. Plutus. In what sport would you hear the term love? Uh, golf. Tennis. In the television show Arthur, what type of animal is Arthur? Uh, oh, aardvark. Correct. What planet comes first alphabetically? Ooh. Uh, ooh. Mars? Earth. What is the capital <laughs> of Jamaica? Uh, Kingston. Correct. Spell ingenious. I N G E N. I-O-U-S? Correct. How many sharps are in the key of C? Ooh. It would have been zero. Ooh. The, the what? Correct. How many sharps are in the key of C? This is a music theory question. Um, oh, yeah, no. As a music teacher myself, um, it's always sad when people stare at me like you did <laughs> in questions <laughs> like that, but that is okay. All right, let's get Max back up here. That was a good one. Thank yeah. you. Good cash builder. Yeah, you pulled Thank out some you. really good answers there. I thought oh, um, the, the Earth one was a little embarrassing. Yeah, that okay. one. I mean, but that just like it, the alphabetical questions, I always feel like triggers a different part of your brain all of a sudden that you have to tap it into. Does. <laughs> and yeah. uh, I'm not good with planets. Not a science guy. <laughs> all right, let's get to it. Six thousand that you earned in the cash builder. You can take that money and try and take it to the bank and get a, another plus one taking the total to three for the team which would be a great start you can go low making it a little easier but that will take a step away which will give you a total of one as a team or you can go for broke and try and make it a plus a no. four head start <laughs> um we'll bring the team back in though you seem already pretty decided here um let's see what they think you know kaden they've been so hard i think you should just stick with the six and you'll get that you don't think you don't think i should go low no you got it i feel i have faith oh i'm nervous You'll do fine. Okay, all right. You'll do fine. If I'm out, you guys. No, you'll do fine. You guys can do it. Okay. All right. For the six thousand you earn and the plus one head start in the final chase, the chase is on. Colossophobia is the fear of what? A, the ocean. B, deserted islands. Or C, busy cities. All right, Max has gone with deserted islands. Caden has gone with the ocean. And we spread the game even more. It is the ocean. Caden wow. is correct. <sighs> All right, we have some room to breathe already. Maybe you should have gone big. Uh, what, Ita uh, what Italian fashion brand is mentioned in the hit song, Old Town Road? A, Gucci, B, Versace, or C, Armani? All right, Caden has gone with Gucci. Max has gone with, I think he went with Versace. Yes, he went with Versace. The correct answer is Gucci, and, and Caden is cruising along. <sighs> what year was Britney Spears' famous head shaving incident? A, 2003, B, 2007, or C, 2010? I also wasn't alive then, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not true. Um, you both go 2000. You both go 2007, and you are correct. Cool. <laughs> and actually, on the board. Well, welcome to the chase, right? Thank you. <laughs> Here's a geography question for you, Max. Thanks. Uh, what is what is the longest river in Asia? A. The Yangtze. B. The Mekong. Or C. The Ganges. All right, Max has gone with the Yangtze. Caden has gone with the Ganges, and Max is correct. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I am the Atlas. Uh, you that I mean, if you're if you're gonna miss that question, <laughs> then we're gonna change. It. I, I can't. Yeah, I can't miss that. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> the Sim, The Sims Four allows players to actually die from what? A. Love sickness. B. Boredom. Or C. Embarrassment. Did you play The Sims, Josh, when you were younger? No, it was never my thing. Jenny <sighs> loves The Sims. She still plays it all the time. Really? Wow. Yeah. Mm, between two. I I did. Um, what did I do? I was probably more of a Webkin's kid myself. <laughs> <laughs> or a Club oh, Penguin or a Club yeah. Penguin. Oh, right, right, Club right, Penguin. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> give, me, give me a Club Penguin question. I'll, I'll get any of those right. <laughs> all right. You both go with embarrassment. That is correct. Nice. Was close. All right. One question from home. Here's the question. Named for the illustrator who created it, what test is used to determine the representation of women in a movie or TV show? A, the Bechtel test, B, the Fink test, or C, the Robinson test? You both go with Bechtel test. That is correct. And Caden's headed to the final chase. Just like that. Well done. Nice game. Nice game. In the final chase, it's all or nothing, as our team has two minutes to answer as many questions as they can correctly. They have a three-step advantage and have chosen question set B, giving question set A to Max, the Atlas Teddy. Your time begins now. Simona, an Invisalign corrective device is worn on where on the body? Teeth. Correct. Eric, in the children's book series Franklin, what type of animal is Franklin? Uh, an- uh, ant. He's a turtle. Caden, in 2018, what soup brand trademarked the word chunky? Campbell's. Correct. Simona, how many outfielders are traditionally on a baseball field at one time? Uh, three. Correct. Eric, the three comma club is a nickname for people who have a net worth of at least what? Uh, one million. One billion. Caden, South- sound navigation and ranging is an underwater phrase often abbreviated as what? GPS. Sonar. Simona, Ted Lasso follows a coach of what fictitious football club? Oh, uh, soccer. AFC Richmond. Eric, what is the hottest planet in the solar system? Uh, Mercury. Venus. Caden, what is the last name of the main character of the book Holes? Pass. Yelnat. Simona, according to the tongue twister, what quantity of pickled peckers, peppers did Peter Pep- Piper pick? Pass. A peck. Eric, what soda is famous for having oh. 23 flavors? Uh, Pepsi. Dr. Pepper. Caden, the three-letter acronym is the name of a popular pharmacy. CBS. Correct. Simona, what is 39 times 2? Oh, shit. Um, 78. Correct. Eric, what board game removed the words Settlers of from its title in 2018? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Caden, what letter comes 8 after H in the alphabet? P. P. Correct. Simona, spell adversary. A D V E R S A R Y. Correct. Eric, the Bahama, the Baja men are most famous for what animal themed song? Pass. Who let the dogs out? Caden, wh- how many colored squares are there on a standard Rubik's Cube? Uh, eight. 54. Simona, what <laughs> photo app gives its users random time of the day to snap a picture in an attempt to capture life's genuine moments? Be real. Correct. Be real. Eric, Athens. Got that into the last second. 12. Correct answers or well, uh, I told answers. You should have been a. a target of 12 um max what do you think dem boys meet beat me with 11 so like it's not <laughs> over <laughs> it, it's not over yet <sighs> and of course remember anytime that max gets a question wrong i will stop the clock if the team can get it right we'll push him back one step those will come in clutch here it is time for the final chase <laughs> Max, are you ready? Yeah. Your time begins now. How many total knights are on the board at the start of a chess game? Two. Stop the clock. That is incorrect. Four. Four. That is correct. It is four. Two for each person. And that is four. Wow. All right. Yep. 13 to catch. Minute 55 on the clock. Your time starts again. Now, what U.S. state is home to the Green Bay Packers? Wisconsin. Correct. What day of the week comes first alphabetically? Uh, 
Monday. Stop the clock. That's incorrect. Oh, isn't it Friday? Friday. Wow, I spent way too long on that. That's it, it's <laughs> Friday. And we push the chaser back again. 13 to catch. A minute 43 on the <sighs> clock. All right, let's get it going, Max. Your time starts again. Now, the timpani belongs to what family of instruments? Percussion. Correct. How many musicians in a septet? Seven. Correct. What scale is used to measure the pepper, a pepper's heat? Um, Scoville. Correct. What U.S. president served from 1977 to 1981? Gerald Ford. Stop the clock. That is incorrect. Um, it's, isn't it, Eric, that's it's you. Jimmy Carter, right? Or no, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's whoever was before Reagan. Um, <laughs> God, the same my I question. thought it was Gerald Ford, and so now I'm actually crap. Oh, oh, wait. Okay, so we should say Jimmy Carter. We should I, just say Jimmy Carter. Sure. The correct answer is Jimmy Carter. You got it. You push the chaser back. Good job, Barry. Uh, Step. Minute 23 on the clock. Your time starts again. Now, what is the formula used to calculate speed? Speed is distance over time. Correct. In what city did Anne Frank write her diary? Berlin. Stop the clock. Oh, my God. I don't know. It. Simona, do you know it? Is it? Is it? <laughs> That's fucked up. Is, is it? Is is not the mu? Isn't the museum in Amsterdam? Is that wrong? Yeah. I have no. Yeah, I, I genuinely no right. clue. I don't think she was in Amsterdam, sounds... but Just, I don't know. Oh my god. All right. What will our answer be? I think it's, I'm gonna go with. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Amsterdam. The correct answer is Amsterdam. You are correct. Nice job, yeah. crushing it. Eleven Maybe to catch. You're a better Jew than I am. Your time starts again. <laughs> Now, what superhero is made powerless by kryptonite? Superman. Correct. So what celebrity chef is the front man for the TV show Next Level Chef? Bobby Flay. Stop the clock. It's Gordon Ramsay. It's Gordon Ramsay. It is Gordon Ramsay as another pushback. 11 to catch. Your time starts again. Now, the 13 stripes on the U.S. flag represent what? 13 colonies. Correct. Excluding Rudolph, how many reindeer pull Santa sleigh? Eight. Correct. Stephen, Alec, and Daniel are the first names of what celebrity brothers? Baldwin. Correct. White Dwarf and Super Giant are types of what? Stars. Correct. Spell Waterfall. W-A-T-E-R-F-A-L-L. Correct. Richard the Lionheart was a monarch for which country? Germany. Stop the clock. That is incorrect. Richard the Lionheart was a monarch for which country? I have no clue. I, I would say it's it's European, obviously. Um, I, I'm thinking like Russia. Russia, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, we should, we'll Great. say Russia. The correct answer is England. Oh, for England there. Richard <laughs> being Russian. All right, six <laughs> to catch. Twenty nine seconds on the clock. This is gonna be close. Your time oh. starts again. Now, Death on the Nile is a book by who? Someone rusty. Stop the clock. I I, I get the Christie. Agatha Christie is correct. Nice job, Caden. Good job. Seven to catch, 25 seconds. Your time starts again. Now, nitro cold brew infuses what element into cold brew coffee? Nitrogen. Co correct. What accessory does Mickey Mouse typically wear on his hands? Gloves. Correct. What is 99 minus 32? 67. Correct. What is your zodiac sign if you were born on December 30th? Capricorn. Correct. Trademark by Lucasfilms. What word does Verizon Wireless license to use it on its smartphones? Uh, Time is up, and the team has taken yeah. over. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh my god. god. That was so oh much. Oh. got killed by a long that? question at the end. Yeah, what, you you, you that killed question? that. That was great. Look, seven attempts to uh, to push back, six executed. Yeah. The yeah. chasers needed three at the end there. Um, oh and that last one, uh, if you're curious, trademarked by Lucasfilms. What word does Verizon Wireless license to use for its smartphones? The Galaxy? It's Wait. Droid. Droid. Oh. Droid. Oh. Okay. All right. And wow. our team takes home a big win tonight. Max, any thoughts? That, good job, Gal. Yeah, that, that's just, Thank you. Yeah. You did great. I'm I'm speechless. <laughs> yeah. Well done on both sides. Um, a team, our team takes home the victory tonight. Um, so for Simona, Eric, and Caden, our winner against Max, the Atlas Teddy, our unfortunate chaser loser tonight. But he'll be back, of course. I'm Josh Gonsalves. We'll see you next time on The Chase.